One of the strengths of Power Automate is that it allows non-programmers to automate critical business processes without the need for coding experience. However, to get the most out of Power Automate, it helps to understand some of the coding tools used by developers. This video is the first in a series that will discuss some of the more common tools available in Power Automate. Today we're going to look at the switch control. This control allows you to alter the execution of your flow based on which specific option from a set of options was chosen for a given element. To illustrate, let's assume that you use a SharePoint list to manage onboarding of new employees. One of the elements it captures is the new employee's department. In this example, department has the following options, marketing, operations, and HR. However, when developing our flow, we need to be aware that departments will be added and or removed over time. Let's further assume that each department has a unique set of 6 to 12 onboarding steps that need to be automated. Note, for today's example, one of these steps will be sending email and we won't represent the others. The typical method for implementing the required flow is to create a series of yes-no tests using the condition control, as you see here. We've implemented a variable to capture the value of department, and then we're going to test whether the department is equal to marketing. If it's yes, we're going to do the, the tasks that we need to do. If it's not, we're going to look at another uh, condition test. This time is department operations. And again, if it's yes, we're going to do the events or the tasks. If it's no, we're going to do department as HR. As you can see, this is quickly becoming a bit complicated and a bit hard to maintain. It's also important to note that if you need to remove the operations department, it's going to be very difficult because you're going to end up uh, eliminating the uh, HR department and then having to reconstruct it. The switch control allows us to achieve the same result in a more straightforward manner. In our switch example, we've once again initialized a variable for department, but this time we've implemented a switch control. The syntax for the switch control is to define what data element you want to test against and then create cases that test each, each possible option. So, for example, we have a case for marketing. So, if, it, if department is marketing, we're going to do a bunch of marketing steps. If the department is operations, we're going to do operation steps and so on for HR. Note that there's also a default case that will happen if none of the other cases that you've developed uh, match the value. In this case we've decided to terminate but you could do pretty much anything you want to here. To add a case you simply click on this add case button. You say in this case uh, we want it to equal the IT department and then we would do IT steps. The other side of that is you can easily eliminate a case without disrupting your entire structure simply by clicking on the ellipse button and clicking delete. There are many other very useful developer tools available in Power Automate. Unfortunately, if you haven't done software development before, you might not be aware they even exist. This series of videos is intended to bring these tools to your attention so you can add them to your Power Automate toolkit. Till next time, take care and have fun with flows.